What's up everybody? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night uh, with my promised first video of pickups and, and hoarding up uh, that I've been doing all coming through the mail. This is an odd uh, assembly of uh, Blu-rays. I have uh, a Scream Factory from Akari and then I have a handful, a couple of Disney Steelbook titles and then I have the sequel to The Big Lebowski. Can you believe it? There was actually some kind of weird sequel. Uh, I'll get more into it. Let's do the let's do the unboxing and, and discuss these films. So if you haven't followed me already, please do. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that uh, hit that notification bell so you see what's happening here on the page. Uh, if you can, please like the video if you do, because it really helps us in the search algorithm. So let's get to the first one. I'm gonna get to the weirdest one, which is the Jesus Rolls. This is uh, written and directed by our, I don't know, he didn't direct this movie, but it's written and starring John Turturro, reprising his role as the Jesus from The Big Lebowski. If you haven't seen that film, he was one of Lebowski's competitors in the bowling tournament, and he had kind of a storied past. Uh, he was a pedophile, so I don't know how they're going to make him... Um, the hero of a film, but it'll be interesting to see. This is something that's been talked about for years, and John Turturro has been wanting to do it. I feel like he kind of wanted the about, about, I feel like he wanted the Coen brothers, who directed the original, to maybe do it, but they never got around to it, so he wrote his own script, and, and now he uh, is in the film. So we'll just see. Is it any good? Uh, the trailer doesn't look so good. So here's the back, so you can get a better feel for what's what. And pause that to do the read-up if you'd like to. Jesus Takes the Wheel. That's a funny tagline uh, for this film. I come in here. There are some... Uh, there are some... Some quotes there. This charming, breezy sex comedy. Knowing that he was a pedophile really disturbs me. So, so we're going to see. We're going to see what they do. So that's that. Uh, this is very traditional packaging. This thing actually had the security tape on it. Inside, we have some disc art there and nothing else. That's it. That's the Jesus Rolls. Are you familiar with this character? Did, are you a fan of the Big Lebowski? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about this film. And uh, let me know if you are interested uh, in taking a look at it. Looks like a road picture. That's uh, the Jesus Rolls. Next, we have Cinderella. This one was part of the the Best Buy Steelbook, Disney Steelbook sale that they had going. It is not a 4K, but it is an older film and doesn't appear to be available in 4K, but you can see here at the top, you've got the J card there and a product shot right there. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code. Um, and it is part of this uh, Disney signature series right there. I love that. So slip off the J card here. I'll flip it over so you guys can see. If you want to see the read up there, you can see that. I'll come in a little closer so you can see the bonus features. Alright, that's Jake card. Let's get it out of the way here so now we can get more into this one. This is common to Disney right now, this sort of really basic image they got going on. Uh, not, not a lot of frill to it at all. There's the back. I kind of like it, though. On the shelves, they all look really cool together. All right. Yeah, so we've got the, the Marvel book there and a cinema book for my current stand because I'm having an issue with my tripod. Here is the inside, which we have some inside artwork, which is great. Got some disc art here. Bump the mic. That's perfect. Uh, let me take the blue out and the DVD so you guys can see the artwork. That's the artwork. I'm not really that much of a Disney fan. This is more for my girlfriend and her Disney collection. But I can tell you I will for certain be watching the bonus features. Because that is my favorite part. And if you want to do want me to do a bonus features breakdown on this, let me know in the comments and I'll do a bonus features breakdown episode. That's Cinderella. Oh, well, you know, let me do the full thing here. I'll show you this. There's the spine, if you want to see that. Okay. So next we have another of the Disney 
Blu-rays again, Signature Series, not a 4K, not available in 4K. Got the J card here, it says Blu-ray, DVD, digital code, product shot. Of course, I don't keep the J cards. Do you keep your J cards? Uh, I don't I don't actually keep the J cards. All right, so here's the, let me get the back of the J card for you. If you wanna see that, you can take a look at the bonus features and extras and a little right up there and you know the classic spec stuff on blu-ray yeah i don't keep the j cards i feel um i feel keeping the slip covers is probably enough honestly so there is the back of the steelbook very cool piece of artwork and again the front let's do this do this right do this traditional here there's the spine Alright, now let's get into this thing. Got some great inside artwork, very cute inside art. This is a film that I actually do like. I do, um, as a child, I remember watching this on repeat somewhere, maybe on cable or whatever. Um, get the Blu-ray out. And the DVD. Got art on both of those so you can see the whole thing here. There you go, internal artwork, it spreads, I like it when it spreads across like this, it's really beautiful. Okay. Just drop these back in here so we can move on. What do you think of 101 Dalmatians? Have you seen the film? It is an older film. I just remember it on repeat on cable when I was a kid, and maybe when the Disney Channel started up really hardcore, that's where I saw it. Uh, again, mostly for my girlfriend's collection, but it is a great film. All right, so we're going to get real different with my last pickup here, and it is Drag Me to Hell. I love this movie. Directed by Sam Raimi, who is one of my favorite directors. He, dr he directed, of course, Evil Dead 1 and 2 and Army of Darkness. He also did the first three Spider-Man movies. We try not to talk about, try not to talk about the third Spider-Man film because he did do that as well, but we don't like to mention that. Um, so he, once he stepped away from the first few Spider-Man films, I'm not sure exactly where this falls in the order, but he did this Drag Me to Hell, which really kind of calls back to his horror roots. It's Simple storytelling with effective scares and very stylized. Um, sympathetic characters that you can really connect with right away. It's super fun film. This is the Scream Factory Collector's Edition. Now, I had, in my original collection, I had the MGM version. So since I was having to replace this, you know, to this one, I wanted to get the Scream Factory one. I wasn't particular on the... Uh, slipcover because I know the slipcover made it much more expensive. I just wanted the the Blu-ray set. It's a two-disc set, but I ended up getting the slipcover version for a really good deal on Macari. If you don't use Macari, I highly recommend it. There's the spine, two-disc set. Got the movie title there. Got the Shout Factory logo on Blu-ray. I'll show you the back in case you're not familiar with this film. It's simply a young girl. Um, denies a woman, an old woman, alone, and that woman curses her to hell. Literally, that is the setup in the majority of the story. The rest of it remains to a, a scary as hell and funny horror film. So there's that. Here are the special features. Disc 1 has the theatrical version. Disc 2 has the unrated version. The unrated version doesn't add much except for a little bit more gore in a couple of spots, but it's CG gore, and this is from 2009, so it's not that good. So I kind of recommend just sticking with the theatrical, but it is kind of fun to, to look at, to have and look at that um, uh, unrated cut as a sort of a part of history. So as far as bonus features, there are the original bonus features that came on the MGM version, and there's a couple of new interviews. I'll get more into that in a bonus features breakdown, again, if that's what you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments. So taking it out here. So this is the original artwork. 
that this was the poster art and the the uh, original Blu-ray and DVD artwork. And I still really like this artwork. Um, it says Collector's Edition there. We've got the little tag there. Spine is the same, essentially. And the back is the same. So, uh, the artwork is a little different, but so let me just come in here, just in case the, the write-ups are different so you guys can see. There we go. All right, so inside, it's a two-disc set. This is, we have the theatrical cut and we have the director's, or the, uh, it's not really a director's cut, it's just an unrated version of the film. Uh, we've got that disc art that matches the slipcover. Okay, and this artwork is reversible, which is cool, except since I have the slipcover, I don't need this artwork out. I like having the original kind of retro artwork out. But if you end up getting this without the slip, um, you can you can always flip around, you know. And I, I probably honestly, if I didn't have a slipcover, I probably still would leave the original artwork. I just like that retro feel, that 2009-ish look. Back when they just they still kind of did artwork and didn't just do a Photoshop floating head. I mean, she re this really looks like it shows the emotion of the scene and kind of really gives you a feel for what's happening in the film style-wise. They don't do that as much anymore. Disney has had a very bad influence on poster art and, you know, like box design and that kind of thing. Everything is very simple. So let's drag me to hell. Have you seen this film? Did you like it? Uh, let me know in the comments and let's, uh, let's discuss some Sam Raimi because he's done some really cool stuff and some kind of terrible stuff too. I'm, as much as I like him as a director, I'm happy to own his failures. So that'll bring us to the end of this pickup series. I've got more pickups coming. I just kind of have them all separated out by... DVD Steelbook, or Blu-ray Steelbook, and, and the next one will be 4K Blu-ray Steelbooks. I just wanted to save the 4Ks for a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, let me know what you thought of these pickups and if you've seen or own any of them. What are you watching for your quarantine time? And, you know, uh, what do you intend to watch? Share that in the comments as well. I'm happy to discuss all of that stuff because I love talking about physical media. Uh, hit me up on OTS Movie Night on Instagram, and you'll see some pictures of things I got coming. A little teaser, sorry about that phone there, um, of what to expect. At any rate, until we meet again, pull something cool off the shelf. Share it with your friends and family, and remind them why watching movies and TV on physical media is the best possible way to enjoy it. I'll see you.